Hey guys, my name is Satija Monaghe and I am a third year statistics PhD student at Cornell University. And today we're talking about the GRE. I mean, I like making vlogs, I like making videos about the GRE, but today we're specifically talking about AI. We're talking about AI and the GRE. So what I mean by that is you know, AI is everywhere, but we can actually use it to our advantage to help us prepare for a better score. And there are a couple of tools that I want to talk about that will enhance your performance and allow you to, I mean, do a couple of things. So like it'll increase your vocabulary, but also they'll give you feedback and help you write a better essay as well. So I'm really excited to talk about these AI tips for you guys for the essay writing portion of the GRE. When I took the GRE, I got a 5.5 in the writing section, but I think you guys will be able to score that lovely, lovely six if you take a look at these AI tools and really practice. So I think if I had these back in my day, this is exactly how I would prepare. Stay tuned to hear about how to get your essay graded for free as part of a GRE practice test provided by today's sponsor, Magoosh. Now let's dive in. So first, let's briefly review what the analytical writing section actually entails for the GRE. So it consists of one task, the issue task, for which you have 30 minutes, half an hour, to write a clear and consistent essay. The key is to demonstrate your ability to think critically and communicate your ideas effectively. So what they're looking for is to have complete sentences, to have well kind of organized thoughts, and to have a coherent essay that builds up to your main point. Now, one comment that I get a lot, I feel like in my, in my comments for the YouTube channel is basically people are kind of confident in their math skills, but one thing that they struggle with is the English section. And specifically also this kind of goes into the writing section as well. So one thing that's fundamental to, to having a strong essay is the ability to pull on all of the words that you know. And one thing is that we want to expand the amount of words that we can draw on. So vocabulary is a really important part of developing a good GRE analytical writing essay score. Now, one way to tackle this issue is to take a look at AI powered vocabulary apps, like for example, WordUp or vocabulary.com. And I know that WordUp is specifically a really good idea because they'll actually rank all of the words in, in the English language, I guess, vocabulary in terms of least difficult to most difficult. And this list will change as you go along to my understanding. So you're going to be learning the most relevant difficult words that you haven't learned yet, um, one by one. And I think that that's a good way to build a vocabulary for the GRE analytical writing essay section. Another maybe kind of more silly way is you could engage in conversation with AI chatbots like ChatGPT or specifically there's one called Replica, which is kind of, it's a little bit kind of creepy, I guess, in some ways, but it might be really good for learning uh, vocabulary. So Replica is this AI tool that can kind of act as a human in, in conversation and it will, I think, remember things about you and stuff. So it's kind of like having an AI friend and that could honestly be one good way to learn English. It's like talking to someone. And I mean, it's not, uh, I don't think it has a verbal component, so it's just writing. And I mean, that's pretty good for learning how to write. Is that good for the trajectory of humanity? Just uh, being able to replace humans in terms of like the talking thing, I don't know. But is it great for us trying to learn how to study for the GRE? I think so. So that's facet number one. That's using AI to enhance your vocabulary. So that's kind of step one, where that's the foundation of building a good essay. But then step two, and also very important, is enhancing your writing skills with AI. And AI can be a very powerful tool. I mean, that's one of the main applications, I think. There's like coding and stuff, but for us, I think that a huge application is being able to get feedback on your actual written work. One facet of this is grammar and style checkers. So there are these tools like uh, Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid that use AI to provide real-time feedback to the user. So as you're writing a sentence, Grammarly or this other tool will tell you what are your grammatical errors, what are your punctuation errors, uh, and so forth. And so they'll also actually be able to give you style feedback. And that's one thing that is kind of graded in the GRE section, uh, the writing section. 
where it's not only is everything grammatically correct, it's also is it all thematically coherent and also stylistically, is it pleasant to read? Then the other side of this is essay evaluation. So you can use AI driven platforms to get instant feedback on your essay. This is not something that was available in the past. You know, in the past you'd have to write an essay and then kind of give it to someone else to grade or something like that. But now we have these AI tools that can give you instant feedback on your writing based on the GRE scoring criteria. And they can even provide detailed feedback on areas for improvement. So Magoosh just launched its AI powered essay grader and it'll score your essay, it'll give you detailed feedback, and it'll even actually edit your essay to improve it by a point. And you can even get your essay graded right now. On top of the AI feature, you'll even get accurate score prediction and subject by subject breakdown. Again guys, the link is in the description below to get your full test free right now. So here I am in the Magoosh AI powered essay tool and I'll click on the practice tab and go to custom practice and select writing. And then I'll put in my writing prompt. And so once uh, you've submitted that, you can come to this screen and it'll take one or two minutes to actually grade the essay and you'll get a notification that it's ready. And you can click on view score report. And it looks like we got a 2.5 here, which is in the seventh percentile out of a hundred. But that's just, I mean, it's because it's uh, pretty short. And so it'll show the full essay here just to reference back. And this here in the bottom is the feedback from the AI tutor, the Magoosh AI tutor. And it uses the actual official ETS scoring rubric. And Magoosh has tested this rigorously against the actual ETS uh, rubric and also actual essays that it's uh, trained on. And so it's pretty cool that it can actually give really specific suggestions and good suggestions and also have accurate score prediction. And here it's talking about what the essay does well. And also here's the shortcomings. I mean, it says it's coherent, but of course it's super brief. So this can't really get a high score. And it ties specific things to the rubric here. So it tells you what you would need to do to get a higher score uh, for four or three. Um, but basically it ties specific aspects of the essay to pieces of the scoring rubric, which is pretty cool. So then down here, you can see the actual suggested edits. So it's actually going to rewrite the whole thing for you, which is pretty crazy. Uh, this entire essay was rewritten and it's going to, so like we started out with a 2.5, but they've rewritten it to give you a score of a four. And so you can actually see uh, what the edits are also. So like spelling, grammar and word choice, the flow, reasoning and examples. So it's going to actually improve your essay for you and give you what you would have needed to do to get a four. Now, I already mentioned that the structure of the essay, the thematic coherence of the essay is also really important. So it's important to plan your essay before actually writing it. And one thing that might help you is, for example, is AI driven mind mapping tools. Like there's this uh, tool called MindMeister to brainstorm and organize your essays. And you can just input your main ideas and the tool will actually suggest a coherent structure for you to map out those ideas to. Or you can maybe use like an outline generator, so an AI powered outline generator, which can actually help you create a structured outline for your essay before writing it. And just like learning anything in this life, it all comes down to practice. I mean, that's the main thing, right? That's the only thing. I mean, you just have to be consistent and practice, and maybe you can even use AI for that. Like for example, using an AI study planner, like I just found one just from a quick Google search online and it's called Vercel, V-E-R-C-E-L. And maybe that would be a good plan to, I mean, help you stay on track and help you set up goals that will allow you to succeed in the GRE essay section. And also we can get feedback from AI tutors. Um, you know, you can use ChatGPT, Claude AI, and other tools like that to get actual feedback, like I mentioned. And it's good to have a consistent plan and have good feedback on those plans and have a good structure on those plans in order to set yourself up for success. So that's gonna do it for this video and these tips. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you drop a comment down below, I will respond to you, I promise. And I think that's going to do it. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.